guys, so today I decided to do a little haul for you guys. I went shopping last night and some of the stuff I got last week too. There's just a couple things. So it's going to be a small haul, but um, yes, let's just get into it. So I went to Old Navy twice. I went last weekend, last night, and then I went to Ulta and Target. I went to Target last week. So um, I'll just start off with the Old Navy. I'll start off with the shirt that I'm wearing. It's just a tank top with white and Pur dark purple and light purple stripes so it's just a tank top and yeah that's all I could say it was on sale for five dollars last night so I thought it was a pretty good deal and one of the reasons why I got it is because I got these purple shorts these were on sale for ten dollars they're originally twenty and these are my all-time favorite shorts I have like three pairs now I have four pairs and um, just all different colors so I decided to get a pair of those and then I got this shirt to match. Um, I realized I am missing something. I had a shirt from Old Navy also that I bought last week and I can't find it anywhere. It was just, anywhere. It was just a white flowy shirt that I got on clearance for like seven bucks so that was a good deal and I the reason why I got that shirt is because I got these these coral bright coral um, what are they called capris yeah, so I was so excited because I've been wanting bright coral jeans or capris or anything for like the longest time now. And they were on sale for like $18.99. So I got them. It did not come with this belt. I just had this belt on it. But they're just the rock stars. And um, the one thing about this is they ran really small. Like I am like I had to get like so many sizes bigger just because they were so tight. But these ended up being a little loose fitting on me and I like that better because I feel a little more comfortable wearing them. But yeah, so they're just, you know, capris, you know, and then I usually roll these up because they actually go to the ankles. So I roll them up to be more like just shorter and they're showing up a little more orange on camera, but they're a bright coral and I really, really like them. And yeah, from Target, I got first I got the NYC um cold brow slash eyeliner pencil it was only 99 cents and I really wanted to try it out for my eyebrows because right now I am using the Maybelline define a brow and I really 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 like that it's still my all-time favorite um the only thing with this is you have to sharpen it so it's not as thin as the define a brow by Maybelline um so because that one's really nice you get nice hair like strokes very thin um and this one the only thing with this is if you're blonde, um, it's really dark. Like, it's good, it's okay for me, but it is a little bit more on the warm side, so it's a little more red. But it works fine for me because I don't fill in my entire eyebrow, I just fill in like a little scar. If you are dark brown hair like me, have dark eyebrows, and really need a brow pencil, a cheap one, this one is good. You're just going to have to sharpen it. So I got the um, CoverGirl Red Lipstick in Hot Passion, and it's just a bright red lipstick. Um, I really wanted to get a bright red lipstick just because I don't have many, or actually I don't have any. All I have was um, a NYX matte lip cream in a bright red color, and it's really hard to use. I do not wear red lipstick, like, ever. Um... But I got it just because if I need to do a tutorial and I need a red lipstick, it's nice to have. Um, but I usually don't wear red lipsticks or any really bright lipsticks for that matter. The last thing I got at Target was the L'Oreal Color Riche Le Lip Gloss. I don't know. It's one of the ones in the squeezy tubes. I've been wanting to try these for a while. And I got this color because I've been wanting this one specifically. And the name is Baby Blossom. Now, I found that this was, like, I put it on and it's kind of like, like, it really shows up the color, but it seems a little streaky. Maybe it'd look a little better if it's worn over something. I don't know, but, um, it smells really good. Oh my gosh, it smells like candy. It smells super good. Now to move on to Ulta. So, the first two things I'm going to tell you about is the Jergens Natural Glow the face moisturizer and the body lotion. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my last haul, but I got the Jergens Natural Glow for light to medium skin tones. I don't know, I think I told you guys that that looks really orange on the skin. It kind of starts to look orange. 
Um, and then I found out from another YouTuber that the medium to the medium to tan one looks a lot more natural, even if you have fair skin tones, because she had fair skin tone too. And she said it looks a lot more natural, just because I think it's more of a bronze look than an orange look. So I got the medium to tan skin toned ones for the face and for the body, just because I want my face to match my body. I don't know, you know. Is that normal? I got some lip products. And I will start off with this L'Oreal. It's the Color Reach Lipsticks. And this is in Fairest Nude, number 800. Um, it's just a nude, like the name implies. It's more of a deep nude, so it's not going to totally be like a concealer that erases your lips and makes you look dead. It's just going to be more of a natural colored, um, just like a natural color for your lips. So yeah, it's really nice. And oh my gosh, the smell of it just reminds me of my childhood. I don't know. If you have one of these lipsticks or at the store, you should smell it. Not that that's weird or anything. But, it I don't know. Like, maybe it's a lipstick my mom had when I was younger, but it just smells so good. It has, like, a nice smell. Like, I don't want to say perfumey, but it probably is. Um, but, yeah, it smells really good. And, yeah, so that just totally makes you want to go buy it, right? No, but um, the color is really pretty, and it's really soft on the lips. I tried it on last day. Next product is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Foiled. I've heard a ton about this lip gloss. I'm wearing it today, if you can tell. It's really pretty. Now, I really love the texture of these um, lip glosses. They're just the perfect lip glosses on um, your lips. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting tongue twisted, whatever. But I've heard a lot of good things about this lip gloss, and I decided to pick it up. So the next thing I got was the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss. And this one is in my favorite milkshake. And it's just like a light pink. And yeah, it's it has a really good smell to it. And this is a different um, applicator than I've ever seen. It's like big and then it dips down in the middle and then it gets big again. But it, I mean, I've seen ones like that before, like with the scoop in it. But it does that all around the entire thing. So that's really cool. Um, I've tried this on once, but I haven't been able to wear it enough to see if it is as long-lasting as it says. But, yeah, it was only like $1.49, so it's really cheap to try it out if you guys want to try out any of Essence. Um, it's only sold at Ulta, I'm pretty sure. So I got two of the NYX Roll-On Shimmers, and um, it was buy one, get one half off, so that's why I got two. I got Platinum and Sal... Salmon? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Salmon. I, I don't even know right now. But yeah, the number, or it's RES14. And then um, platinum is RES12, if that helps. And I'm wearing platinum on my lids today. It's just, these are literally glitters. And this is just like a silver glitter. And I decided to wear it on my eyelids today. You probably can't even tell. I don't know. But um, those, I really like these. The last thing I got was the Essence uh, Essence Single Eyeshadow in Party All Night. It's a really pretty shimmery, I would say more of a warm copper color. Um, just like that. I did find the more you use it, um, it gets like a little less shimmery. I mean, it's still really shimmery. But it's like almost like the top layer has more shimmer. You know some eyeshadows that are like that? They're more of the cheaper eyeshadows. This was only like $1.29. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's super, super pretty. It's just a brown. It's super pretty. And then the light, it sparkles because it's so sparkly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to try these out, they're only $1.29 like I said. But um, I'm going to keep using it and see how it goes. I mean, it's still shimmery as you get deeper down into it. It's just not as shimmery. I don't know if you know what I mean. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul I had for you. And um, just let me know if you've tried any of these products as well and how you like them. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. It would look good, but I don't know. Would that be too much purple? I don't know. Oops. L'Oreal. 
what is this? I have no idea. Is this the colorish? So it's really cheap right now and they're all on sale. So, And I did find that the top, okay, the top is more shimmery than, okay, what am I trying to say? Wow. Three, 